I'm Saul Priceman. I'm an assistant professor at the City of Hope Comprehensive Cancer Center uh, in Los Angeles, California, and I'm a member of the Scientific Advisory Board of Imaging. The immunotherapy field in general is, is expansive. Uh, there's been a number of approaches uh, that have been used to target blood malignancies or liquid cancers, as well as solid tumors like prostate, pancreas, and liver cancer, for instance. Um, we've had really in the last few years exceptional responses using chimeric antigen receptor or CAR T cell therapies for the treatment of liquid cancers like leukemia and lymphoma. And really the biggest challenge we've faced over the last few years is translating that impressive response rate from blood malignancies into the more so-called intractable cancers uh, solid cancers like uh, pancreatic cancer, uh, liver cancer, colon cancer, ovarian cancer, and a number of other solid tumors, um, which have otherwise been pretty underwhelming in terms of response rates using CAR T cells, um, which we thought might not be the case because of the exceptional responses we have seen in, in leukemias and lymphomas, blood cancers. This combination with oncolytic and, uh, virus and CAR T cells really brings us back to the one size fits all or the holy grail of a cancer therapy, which is independent of your type of cancer uh, or your underlying genetics. We might have a therapy that could be used to effectively treat your cancer. And that would be this oncolytic virus uh, strategy uh, in combination with a CAR T cell. I was stunned. Um, I would highly recommend everyone watching the video uh, that's on our website with Saul and Anthony Park. Um, it's exuberating to see that perhaps we can affect the greater solid tumors that has not been touched by CAR T's and have not been rewarded the same response rates that we've seen in the liquid cancer types. If, can you imagine if we can bring that level of success and response and cure to several different solid tumor space, we but really change the paradigm of how cancer drugs are uh, provided to the patients. So we've been really smart about how to develop these products and our oncolytic virus knows and seeks out solid tumors and we now have something that also attracts a CAR T. So I think this is going to be a just a, a brilliant drug and provide so much help for so many patients. I can't wait to get it into the clinic. What we have done here in this project is that we've actually figured out a way of putting CD19 on any bad cancer. And that involves using a virus that we have actually bred to be specific only for cancer and to leave normal uh, cells alone. Using this virus called CF33, we've been able to also insert the gene for human CD19. And therefore, this virus now can theoretically circulate the body, bind cancer cells, infect them specifically and, and, and not infect those cells that are normal. And then not only will it start killing the cancer cells, but also put in its local area this this marker uh, called CD19 so that we can then give immune cells trained to kill cells expressing this type of protein to be a secondary killing agent for cancer. So in essence, what we're doing is we're not only sending in oncolytic viruses to kill cancers directly, we're using those oncolytic viruses to tag the cancer cells for further killing by immune cells. When looking for a partner for this, I think our biggest consideration was deep expertise in immuno-oncology, uh, in the development of immunotherapies for patients with cancer, uh, and also a deep understanding and experience with oncolytic viruses. And to us, Imugene was that right partner. They have multiple therapies, uh, in, in, uh, in redirecting the immune system to treat cancer. And in particular, they have an oncolytic virus strategy, which is the basis for this new combination, this new technology, um, where they're going to the clinic 
very soon in understanding safety and efficacy of that oncolytic virus um, and, and therefore was just a natural partnership uh, for us in, in expanding uh, this into the clinic. Well, it's about the team. Uh, there are uh, two things that are really attractive about this team. Uh, first of all, they've had experience in developing oncolytic viruses before, and uh, it is, is also a, a team that is uh, quite collaborative and, and quite experienced. Uh, so for every level, from the trials organization to the regulatory aspects of it, uh, as well as in the leadership, uh, it's been a pleasure to work with them and on every level to try to bring novel therapies to man.